Hello and I would like to welcome you to another video. This is actually to discuss with you the VL uh, lookup. Uh, it's the vertical lookup uh, uh, function. It's a very powerful function and it's going to look for a column instead of the horizontal or the regular lookup uh, function. So what are we going to look at here? We have a three uh, columns. We have products code, we have product name, and we have price. I wanted to be able to put the product code and based on that actually we're going to get the, the product name, we're going to get the quantity uh, that's going to be entered by a user and also a price <coughs> that we're going to get directly from the, uh, let's put this as a table or as a matrix and then we're going to be able to do the total using uh, the VLOOKUP function. Uh, first of all, uh, if you have not used before a let me go ahead and, and do this, something I need to do with you. Uh, this is <clears throat> in order for me to get the list of uh, the products code in order to become available for me so I could choose it. I'm going to click on this. I've already done it, but I want to do it again one more time. I go to the data and I want it to go to data validation. Uh, so I'm going to be looking for the data validation here and it's going to ask me, what do you want? I'm going to say I need the list. So I'm clicking on the list, and the list is going to come directly from this list in order to enter it for me. I'm going to confirm it and OK it. Now you will see immediately in this cell, which is going to be cell K7, is going to allow me to choose any of those uh, products. So if, let's say we wanted to put product C124. How are we going to get the name directly from the list based on my choice? So I'm going to be using here a VLOOKUP function and it's going to take the first thing is to the lookup value which is whatever I chose to have in K7 and the table query or the matrix is going to be all these because I might be using later the price if I wish to do that and the column index is going to be the second column because we have uh, this is the second column and this is the third column so let's go ahead and finish that actually I deleted this no this was still in it so we're going to go ahead and click on that and what do we want it to do actually second columns and we're going to add its false meaning I wanted the exact match exactly so we don't want really an approximation for what is the product's name I want it exactly what it is so here we go we got the computer based on the fact that we chose the C124. The same quantity is a user input, so we're going to put two. And the price for the computer has to be coming from the table, so we're going to use also the VLOOKUP query, VLOOKUP. And it's going to also uh, allow me to, first of all, sorry, I need to go ahead and do the index here, which is uh, here, this one here, it's K7. It's okay to make a mistake so I could learn from those and this is the table query and after the table query we have a column index number which is in this case I want it to specify by the third because that's really the price and after that we're going to go ahead and choose exact match for false as a value in the VLOOKUP and we should be able to get now if we chose C124 $999 that's exactly what I got and the total is going to be now is to go ahead and uh, click on this and this one here and you want to you want to see that we got all this as actually both of those should be to, uh, formatted as currency here we go and that is really the quickest way of talking about uh, the lookup thank you and I'll see you in another video bye bye